Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Jenkins on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The process is same for all Red Hat Linux versions. The prerequisites are we must have installed Java. Let's verify whether Java is installed or not. Type N. Now go to the documentation, click on activities, then open browser, then go to Jenkins official website that is Jenkins. IO. See now click on this download or click on download both are same click on download see here see the version at the time of making this video is 2.414 it is LDS which means it is stable version but before going to install it click on this hardware and software requirements see Minimum requirements, these are the minimum requirements and recommended are 4 GB of RAM and 50 GB of drive space. Click on this Red Hat Fedora or Rocky Linux. These are the commands to install Jenkins. So first I am going to add the repo. Copy it, open terminal, then run it. Provide the password for sudo user. It is downloaded. Next run this RPM key. It is success. Now we are going to install OpenJDK. Copy it to sudo and paste the command. See it is waiting to complete this process. So I am going to kill, kill hyphen 9 and PID number. You sudo. Now install OpenJDK 11. Copy it and paste here. See, it is typo. Just give K. It is going to use this much space. Typo and hit enter. See, we have successfully installed open JDK 11. Control L, verify Java hyphen hyphen version. See, we have installed open JDK 11 before we haven't received this output. Now, install the Jenkins. Command is this is the command sudo dnf install Jenkins. It will install the Jenkins. Hit enter. Type Y for confirmation and hit enter. See, it is downloading. As I told, it is going to install this LDS version. Go back. See, the stable version is this is. Okay. See, we have successfully installed Jenkins. Now, reload the system daemon. Now, go to browser, open new tab, type localhost 8080. This will throw error. See, unable to connect. Okay, go back. Why? Because Jenkins is started or not, we have to verify. System CTL status. Jenkins. See, it is not started. See, it is not started. Also, here the service is disabled. 
let me start sudo systemctl start jenkins See, Jenkins is started. Let's verify again. See, it is active and running. And this is the password of the Jenkins user. We can also get the same password by going to this location. If you drag this one, see, if you cat this file, we can get the password, which is the, this is the same. Press Q to quit. Now, reload this page. See, now we are able to connect. Now it is saying we have to provide the password. You can copy just this password or cat the file. sudo cat then then copy this file and paste it here. See, password is same. Both are same. Okay. Copy it and paste here. And click on continue. Don't save. We have to customize this Jenkins. We have two options. Install suggested plugins and select the plugins to install. So install suggested plugins are recommended by Jenkins. You want to select the plugins that you need. You have to click on here and you have to select. I'm going with the install suggested plugins. Click on this one. See, it is going to install this recommended plugins. This may take time. I am pausing this video until all these plugins to be installed. Create first admin user. I am giving admin username as R2 admin. Provide the password for this user. Provide the same password. I am giving R2 schools administrator. This can be anything. Provide the mail. Click on save and continue see this is the url if you want to change you can change but i'm going to keep as it is then click on save and finish we have successfully configured jenkins you can start using jenkins see this is the jenkins dashboard new item people build history if you have any jobs we can get the build history here manage jenkins you want click on manage jenkins see we can suppose if you want to add plugins you have to click on this one if you want to configure credentials you have to click on so you have different things to be set okay if you want to add another note to this jenkins you have to click on notes and you have to add okay my use i don't have any use so go to dashboard log out or to admin then provide the password click on sign in don't save see again we logged in back now go to terminal control l to clear the screen again verify the status as i told you service is disabled which means whenever red hat enterprise linux server restarts then we have to start manually if this service is disabled if we enable then no need to start the Jenkins service when host machine restarts. So I'm going to enable this Jenkins service by running the command sudo systemctl enable Jenkins. This typo. See, it has created symlink for this Jenkins service. Okay. 
now verify the same see now it is enabled before it was disabled okay control l to clear the screen now stop the service and verify whether we can access this jenkins or not so start the service sudo systemctl stop jenkins we have stopped let's verify see jenkins is inactive okay it is dead now reload the page see unable to connect why because jenkins server is down so again start it sudo system ctl start jenkins now verify jenkins status see we have started 10 seconds ago now go to browser and reload now we are able to connect now provide the username and password see we have successfully connected to jenkins now we are going to see how to restart the jenkins service sudo systemctl restart jenkins this is all about jenkins installation and configuration